A blog network, uh, typically speaking, is a, a network of websites, um, usually under the control of one, one person. And uh, when you buy access to these blog networks, you're basically buying, buying access to all of these blogs. And they'll have you know, a whole thousands and thousands of blogs on a, different, a whole variety of different topics. And you then log into this one interface, and then you're able to post an article, and then it will get pushed out to this blog network. That's, that's ultimately what a blog network is. Uh, there's a few things that, that are important when analysing what blog networks you're actually going to work with, because Google can link together networks quite easy. Like, they're really smart. They pay these uh, engineers who sit there, and they, they know stuff. You know, if you put AdSense on every one of your pages, that's going to link that that network together. They're smarter than that. There's just different things where they can link it together. So when it comes to uh, a blog network, you want to make sure that you select a blog network where users submit the blogs. This is really, really key because uh, if you got a whole lot of inbound links back to your website from a whole lot of blogs, different blogs, they can be on different domain names, but if they were all coming from the same domain name registrar, uh, they were coming from the same hosting account, they were coming from the same IP address, that is going to be a red flag for Google because you're trying to spam them and send them tons of links from something that's clearly under one person's control. You're trying to gain the search engines and that's what they don't like. So, it, and, and this is grey hat and this is why uh, it's important that you don't go too heavy sending links from these blog networks back to your website. You need to uh, vary where you're going to be sending the links to because you don't, you don't want to uh, get into trouble. Um, but the, to go for a good blog, blog network, you want to find one where basically uh, they allow users to submit their own blogs. There's a, different blog networks, and I've got a few listed on the next slide, where the users will submit their own blogs, so they'll host them themselves, they'll register them themselves, and the reason a user will submit a blog is because they want f content, because unique content, they spin the content, which I'll talk about in a moment, but they get this good unique content on the website, and it's a way to build their site. And as I talked about, SEO is now a, name, a game of numbers, and you want to build as many pages as you want. So there's an automated, easy way to get content generating into your site. I wouldn't suggest you use that content for your primary money site, but if you've got a feeder site, why not go ahead and set a blog up and sign up to one of these blog networks and submit your blog and receive content. So there's two sides to the equation in a blog network. You've got one, the website is going to receive content, and two, which is what I'm talking about because we're doing it for link generating purposes, um, the, the second piece of the puzzle is to um, be able to log into the account and then submit content and then have it get distributed across a large network of sites.